Melting shoes this yes. year. Yes. Well, speaking of Hoop Fest, another one in the book. 6,000 teams and roughly a quarter of a million people descended on downtown Spokane for all things basketball. And with the big crowds, things can get lost. Things like phones and cards all ended up in the lost and found. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley has more on how these uh, lost items usually make it back to their owners. Over the weekend, Hoopfest collected these three boxes worth of lost and found items. But if you can believe it, in years past, they've actually collected quite a bit more than this. Boxes have been bigger than this, so probably twice the size some years um, with twice the amount of items. Kelly Riley with Hoopfest says they've seen a variety of lost items over the years, some with even sentimental value. Of course, money, which is a big one. Um, we've also had a laptop, some Game Boys, uh, tablets. A wedding rings, so the, kind of the gamut. The items found this year range from backpacks, shoes, credit cards, to even a few cell phones. Riley says social media and surprisingly honest people really helped with getting items returned to their owners. You would think that people wouldn't uh, give back cash, they just kind of keep it themselves. But we have such a great uh, community and also uh, players and spectators who come back who are very honest and will come in and take the things back so people can reclaim them. Riley says they'll keep the shirts, shorts and glasses for a few weeks. Then if no one claims them, everything gets donated to local charities. Somebody lost their player shirt, so if they're looking for that, they should call us back. If you did lose something during Hoop Fest, you're asked to call the Hoop Fest office number. If they have it, they'll get it back to you. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.